Hey, this is Scott with the White Jet Boat and Drone Adventures, and this video has been a year and a half in the making. Let's get started. Oh, it's done. So another one bites the dust, right? Uh, this will be jack number, that's jack number three that uh, got jacked up and is no longer functioning. Uh, it happens, it's part of boating. It's part of the regular maintenance. We, there's, this get, that gets dropped in the salt water all the time, right? Every time you back in, it's getting uh, dipped into the water. In my case, it's always salt water. And I take pretty good care of it. I oil it, I grease it when there was fittings on it. The other one, the West Marine one, the one with the double wheels, it had a grease fitting on I kept that thing greased and it locked up too. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a jackectomy. I'm gonna take it outside and I'm gonna cut it open with a, with a grinder and see what's inside it. Okay, so we're gonna finish it off with a hacksaw. Threaded rod, a nut, the extendable leg, and the outer tube, along with the the hand the uh, hand crank, and inside there is a gear. You see. So you turn the handle, the threaded rod moves, and the threaded rod now is stuck to its its nut inside the uh, extendable leg. So this has been rusted against that. And that's why it's no longer working. So how to fix this? Well, I think I've got it figured out on the new one. Take a look at this. All right, at the bottom of the jack is a hole. And by placing something long enough, I found where I could touch the threaded rod. So the threaded rod is open all the time to whatever you put it in. So if you put it in salt water, salt water is going up this hole and rusting out the threaded rod. Okay, I do have a solution for this. Maybe the problem all along has been inside here that we need to take care of. So I'm gonna pump this, I'm gonna pump this full of, of grease today. I'm gonna put a, I've got some things that I think I can put a cap on this to keep the grease in there and maybe seal this up a lot better. Than okay, I found something. And this is gonna fit right inside there and then I'll seal up the bottom here with silicone. I'm gonna have to shave this down a little bit so it clears the wheel inside here but let's do that i think that's going to work perfectly all right there's what i'm talking about pump it full of grease and then put the, put the cap back on okay so now it's going to just pump up i'm going to just pump this thing and i'm going to go through uh probably three containers worth of grease got three uh actually three and probably three and a half of tubes of grease up inside the inside cavity and I put my little fitting in here. It's sort of like a bearing buddy now. It's... All right, I decided to take the cap off this one as well. This is what you get when you buy it. This is the grease that you get inside. Right? All this grease, this grease was in the cap. This is the end of the video and this is what the trailer jack looks like in real time right now after a year and a half of salt water abuse. Trailer's going up, trailer's going down. Works perfectly. Now I'm going to flip it around. I've got it connected to the truck. I'm going to flip it upside down so I can take a look at the grommet that I put in it to see how that's doing. So there's the grommet, still in place, still looks like it's holding. 
and why is this so clean well I did clean it off before the video but I have a secret I have a secret maintenance for how to keep this clean and how to keep the jack clean outside it's taken a little bit of abuse certainly the wheels taken abuse and this uh, this steel bolt has taken some abuse but overall a year and a half out in the environment being submerged twice every time I went boating it looks pretty good so that's the end of the video.